Begin with this, the death investigation that continues in the case of Fairfield resident Jennifer Cleveland. Last summer, Cleveland died at a Wortham Med Spa after receiving an IV treatment. Tonight, a group of physicians are sounding the alarm about the dangers that can come with med spas and the laws that need to change. Dr. Patricia Aronin is retired, but now fights with Texas 400 to protect patients who are now getting caught in what's become popular medical treatment by non physicians in most instances med spas they don't realize that medicine in general is is kind of the wild west in terms of not of, of people being out there practicing medicine without really being adequately supervised and they don't realize that a medi spa is actually a medical treatment she says the problem with med spas is they aren't strictly regulated and enforcement of what regulations are in place is poor. It is required by the Texas Medical Board, not only that you have a good faith exam done, but that you have medical records for being kept of what was done. And I you know, would venture to bet there are very few med spas in the state who are keeping medical records anywhere. Those are two questions that are needing to be answered on the death of Jennifer Cleveland, a Central Texas woman who died after visiting a worth of med spa. Dr. Aronin stresses the medical director situation in the med spa industry is one of the biggest issues that needs change. And I would like to see on the med spa side of things something that says that defines how they hire a medical director. I mean, that, that defines it has to be someone who actually can be there, can deal with with problems and can and is knowledgeable enough to be providing them the, the direction they need. Dr. Ronan says change has to start with patients, but they need to know to advocate for their health too. It's not to be a scare tactic to the public, but it's just, this is not the same as getting your nails done. It just means that we, we're doing our best to make it as safe as possible. Well, according to the American Med Spa Association, 63% of med spas were owned by non-physicians and non-surgeons in 2022. That number is expected to grow.